Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Uh, this is Johnny Girardi, uh, CEO and founder of DataSelf. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're going to have uh, about a 25-minute session, hopefully very informative for you and exciting. Uh, before I jump into it, a quick introduction about uh, the vision of the company and why I founded it back in 2005. Uh, so I have an electric engineer uh, undergrad, and in my early career, for many years, I was a programmer. Eventually, I fell in love with the business area. I became a business person. And for me, reporting and data analysis was never really an issue. I was a programmer. I was comfortable with complicated reporting tools and databases. But most of my business peers, they were not, you know, they would have to ask a consultant uh, an IT person or even myself for help when they wanted a different report or a and a report. Uh, so I decided to join the industry, the business intelligence industry, uh, about 14 years ago. And in 2005, I thought that I could make it better. So my initial vision, and still today, is there are great technology out there, easy for business people in the Fortune 2000 uh, environment but they're usually too expensive and too uh, uh, complicated to deploy for mid-sized companies. So my vision was I want to find in the upper market best of technology that fits the mid-market from a pricing standpoint as well as from a, a framework, uh, technology framework standpoint. I want to make them simpler. I want to make them better. So the vision is that we want to simplify and amplify best of breed technology from the upper market. So what you're going to see today is actually the latest and greatest, and I hope uh, you're going to find it very uh, informative. So first of all, uh, all lines are muted, and if you have questions, please use the GoToMeeting chatting box, and we'll be addressing at the end of the presentation. Um, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about why analytics. I'm going to show the product and then open for Q&A. So uh, most companies, when they come to us uh, looking for analytics for Sage 500, they're trying to improve their sales, their supply chain, or financial areas. We also cover you know, services, project costs, and so forth. But these three are the most popular ones. On the sales side, the most popular need for analytics is just a better understanding of your sales and profitability initiatives. What's growing? What's declining? What's profitable? What's not profitable? What you, what you are selling to who? Uh, so being able to analyze that quickly and easily, anytime, anywhere, is critical, and analytics can help you with that. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, it, between ordering and invoicing, uh, it can take, you know, some time, and you, wanna, you, you may want to you may wanna pinpoint what the issues are. Analytics can help you uh, pinpoint those, those problems. Uh, if you have a sales commission that is complicated, time consuming at the end of the period, uh, analytics can usually automate 100% of the process. So that also can be very helpful. If you're trying to do better forecasting of your sales, look at your past sales or maybe information coming from your customers or salespeople, analytics can help as well. Uh, if you get into large contracts, like you know, with big boxes such as Walmart and Target, and you need to find the right pricing strategy, in analyzing the pricing components can be critical, and analytics can also help you with that. And finally, sometimes analyzing uh, sales and profitability involves bringing data from other data sources, maybe from Excel files, maybe from a point of sale systems, maybe from clients or salespeople. And uh, we have a framework that can combine the data for analysis, and it's really impressive. On the supply chain, uh, inventory management, you know, looking at your inventory turnover, for how long items have been sitting, uh, where are you shipping products from, to which locations, many uh, uh, ways to look at data that analytics can help you fine tune your process. If you have inbound and outbound routing logistics, you know, maybe you're shipping products from overseas and it's been challenging forecasting when they're coming in, analytics can help you with that. If you exchange information with your, you know, shipping companies, uh, your Vendors and, and customers uh, and want to combine that data, combine that data for better anal analysis. Our framework can also support uh, provide value. Uh, if uh, you know purchasing process are sophisticated, you need to analyze by the pricing, who's going to be delivering in time. Analytics can help you with that as well. 
Uh, on the forecast, in the same way as in sales, if you need to combine you know, information from purchasing, quantity on hand, open sales orders to see you know, if you're going to be able to deliver your products or services, uh, analytics can combine up all the data easily. Um, and the data integration goes in the same line of you know, the ability to combine data for better analysis is critical for some companies, and we provide a framework for that. On the financial side, uh, what comes with Stage 500 is usually sufficient for most companies. However, if you're spending too many hours to close your months, quarters, or years, uh, talk with us. We may be able to help you and facilitate the process significantly. If you have multi-company frameworks that you're having challenges consolidating uh, you know, your financials, we may also have a much better solution for you. And if your users are trying to be able to uh, Slice, slice and dice your financials anytime, anywhere using web and mobile devices, we can also probably provide great value for that. So those are the main values that we add uh, for companies. Now let me talk a little bit about the technology side and how, why this is so impressive what we have. Uh, Gardner is one of the most reputable companies providing technology assessment in the Fortune 2000 world. And they just released the latest, uh, they call Magic Quadrant for BI and analytics platforms, or in other words, reporting platforms. And making a long story short, uh, the, the more to the right you are on this axis, the better you are to, for, for Fortune 2000. So not so critical for 500, Sage 500 companies. However, the higher you are on the Y axis, the better the solution is, the better the company is providing uh, you know, value to the market. And these are Fortune um, 2000 BI and analytics vendors. The top two highlighted here, Tableau, Tableau is considered the king of the hill when it comes to analytics and dashboarding. Right now, by far, they're the best. And Microsoft is considered the best one when it comes to uh, BI infrastructure. What about them? What about us? What about you? Well, it goes back to my initial vision. Uh, what data self analytics is, you know, our solution, is we took the, the best of the breed right now, Tableau and Microsoft, the top two leaders in their own categories. So we take them, we add our own technology that eliminates programming from these other two tools. So we simplify them. And then we add more than 2,000 reports, dashboards, and KPIs out of the box. So we amplify their value. So it goes back to my vision. Best of the breed from Fortune 2000, simplified and amplified. Now, it's easy to use. You know, this tool, the solution is designed for business people. They can be using their desktop, web and, web and mobile devices anytime or anywhere to look at dashboards, slice and dice them. It's easy for IT to maintain, so really simple. Uh, usually takes hours or days to deploy, so it's really fast to deploy this high-end technology. Uh, we also provide expertise. Uh, our core team has been working for more than 14 years using high-end BI solutions for Sage 500. So we know the BI tools, we know, we know Sage 500, and we know how to combine the data for companies that use Sage 500. So you get also expertise from us. Finally is low cost. Uh, we, our solution, you know, from a cost standpoint, if you go with the monthly subscription, you're going to be paying literally hundreds of dollars per month, so it's inexpensive. We also offer yearly subscription as well as you can buy the solution. The point is the cost is a fraction of the cost if you try to get and build your own solution using these best of it components. And because we use the best, best of it components, we call our solution like a Ferrari among the mid-market uh, solutions. Uh, is the fastest, uh, the nicest, uh, but by far is not a Ferrari cost. As I mentioned, you can start with literally hundreds of dollars per month. It's like you no, know, like a leasing a Fiat. Uh, so let's go for the product presentation. I'm going to show secured access, sample KPIs out of the 2000, and show some ad hoc examples. So let's buckle up, put our helmet on, and take a spin on our Ferrari. So uh, most of the time, people will access the solution using a web portal. They can use a desktop, a web, or a mobile device. When they log in to this portal, 
they would only be able to see their own dashboards. So let's say if I'm the CEO, I would see the CEO dashboards. And these dashboards can be very simple or very sophisticated. Like you no know, CEO or C-level people, some of them, they're not very computer savvy people. You know, they're building businesses, they're managing people. So they need something very simple, very insightful to tell them where they should be focused their, their attention. And this is an example of a CEO dashboard. It has four main uh, areas that the CEO is interested in, and they have the green, yellow, and red color. So, hey, green is good, I don't need to worry about, yellow, maybe, red, I gotta call someone to see what's going on. And these dashboards, if you click on them, you can go into more detailed information if you are more sophisticated. So, very simple, yet very informative and insightful uh, dashboards. Um, let's say if I'm a salesperson and I log into the, the sales team dashboards, and let's say, you know, I go down on this list here, I have a lot of dashboards, and let's say I click on this one, Top Custom by Sales Dashboard. The tool can be designed in a way that when I open this dashboard, it would only show my own sales. So if I'm the rep for California, this would be, you know, the top customers in California. The rep in Florida opens the same dashboard and views top customers in Florida while the VP of sales opens the same dashboard and views top customers across all territories. So the information can be granular based on your user credentials. Now, we have, as I mentioned, thousands of reports and dashboards available out of the box, and we make them very insightful. So you can focus on getting insights, making decisions, and move about your business. Let me give an example. This dashboard is fairly simple. It shows my customers, my top customers, it shows bars, bigger bars, bigger sales. The color of each bar is represented by gross profit, so not so profitable to very profitable. I also have these black dots telling profitability on this other uh, uh, axis. Now, once, I, once I, I learn how this dashboard works, next time it's going to be very easy for me. It's going to take me seconds to realize among my top customers which ones are not so profitable. And if that's something that I want to improve, I can make a decision quickly to work on those clients. So these dashboards were designed with that in mind, you know, to give you insights quickly so you can make better decisions, more informed decisions. We have other dashboards that are even more intriguing sometimes. This dashboard, it looks at the tip of the growth curve of your major key performance indicators. And this was an example of this perspective, is looking at the tip of the sales growth curve for your, top, for your customers. So these customers are growing the most in sales since last year to date. These, one, these ones are declining the most in sales since last year to date. And maybe if, if these are recurring customers, some of them are not very happy. And you may need to figure out why and fix before it's too late. So looking at the tip of the growth curve of your major KPIs, like this example, can be critical for your business. And again, we have lots of these reports to help you to focus on the right initiatives. Let me show some other uh, trends here that are usually very critical as well. Exception reporting. Exception reporting is another critical way of looking at your data. Exception record, reporting looks at transactions that are no longer happening. And this, again, on the sales side is a good example. If you have recurring customers, why these ones are no longer buying? Maybe it's okay, maybe it's seasonal, maybe it's not okay. So knowing who they are is the first step towards knowing if you need to do something about it. And this particular report is showing customers who are buying the last 60 days but not in the last 30 days. And it's very easy to change the buckets. Maybe you want to see customers who are buying the last three years, but not in the last year. Very easy to change and have that kind of insight. And actually, those reports are available out of the box. Let me show one last example, and then I'm going to show how easy it is to change reports on the fly. So let me open uh, Sales by Geography report. So this dashboard shows me uh, a map, and it has bubbles, bigger bubbles, bigger sales, and, the, and the, the bubbles are sliced by colors 
that are represented by the size of the deal, the size of the invoices. And I can easily change this dashboard you know, with slicers. Here I have by year, and I can just click and see, you know, am I growing my sales in, let's say, large deals over time? I just click here, and I see if it's growing or declining. Very insightful, very easy. I also have on the left sales by rep. So I have my rep, bigger bars, bigger sales. And the profitability is also by the color scheme. And I also have my top five products by sales quantity shipped. Now, if I'm the VP of sales and I'm meeting the West Coast team, I can, let's say, take my fingers on my iPad, select only those three states. And when I do that, the report changes. So now it's showing only the salespeople selling to those three states and what products have been shipped to those three states. Very easy. If I choose one of these salespeople, let's say Sam, now I see how much sell, Sam is selling to those three states and what products is be shipping. So making changes like this is fairly straightforward. Most business people will learn how to do this with little training, maybe no training at all. Now, if I'm a power user and I want to extensively change a dashboard or create a new one from scratch, so if I'm a power user, I'll have the edit button. So if I'm, a, if, I, if I'm a power user, I can use the edit button on my mobile devices. And when I click on the edit button, I go into the edit mode. And now I have full capabilities that I can change the dashboards extensively. I have all the dashboard, all the, 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 quadrants, the quadrants of the dashboard over here. And I can just come, come here, start to slice and dice, and move things around. So let's say, I see this report that's showing me sales by salesperson, customer name, product line, season gross profit by year. Ah, maybe it's too much information. I want to see less. I can just drag and drop. I don't want to see product line. There you go. I don't want to see customer. I just drag it out. I don't want to see even year. I just drag it out. Very easy to just drag and drop. Maybe, no, I actually want to see some of those things. I want to see, uh, let's sales by product. I go to the product list, and I get uh, item description. I just drag and drop whatever I want, let's say, in my rows. So there you go, buy salesperson, buy product, sales and gross profit. Maybe when I see, you know, again, by year, by quarter, by month, I can just drag and drop, let's say, to my columns. So there you go, I have buy year, sales and gross profit. Maybe you want to change the order, put it over here. This tool was designed by Stanford University professors who studied how business people look at business data and have insights from it. As you may know, it's a journey, it's a process. Business people, when they want to see a new report, they have an idea of what they want to see, but until they see the report, they don't know the details. And that's why it takes interaction with the data. And that's why if you're not using this kind of technology, you know, you have to ask a consultant, an IT person, it may take forever. It may take several interactions until the report is ready. It's, it is what it is. It's a journey. So this tool was designed by these Stanford University professors who came up with this software engine that helps decision makers to walk through this journey with no, no assistance from IT. In our experience, more than 70% of the custom reporting needs of the average business user, they can do it by themselves. They can take this tool and just slice and dice it and build new, new reports and dashboards from scratch, scratch as needed. It's very impressive. All right, uh, so that was my quick presentation. I hope you have enjoyed the Ferrari drive. Uh, Talk about Ferraris, uh, we have a promotion, and right now, because you have attended this webinar, you're getting a drawing ticket to race a Ferrari on us in Vegas in July. So if you want to increase your odds of driving the Ferrari on us, racing a Ferrari on us, you can actually do the following. If you follow us on Twitter, you get an extra ticket. If you follow us on LinkedIn, you get an extra ticket, drawing ticket. Uh, if you mention us in social media, you get more tickets. If you evaluate us, you get more tickets. And if you buy subscribe, you get even more tickets. So if you want to have 
uh, you know, increase your chances to drive or to race a Ferrari in Vegas in July, you know, it's going to be at during the summit, Sage Summit, interact with us and increase your chances. That's going to be a very fun event. Well, um, if you have questions now, please uh, use the chatting box on GoToMeeting, and I'm going to be addressing some of these questions. Let's see if we have questions. Yes, we have some questions here. First question is from Philip. Uh, what Sage 500 versions do you work with? Philip, good question. Actually, let me show you the answer by, oopsie, sorry, going to our website. So even if you don't remember my answer, you'll be able to find that later. So if you go to our website, datasoft.com, and you go to Sage 500 solution, uh, we have here, we support Sage 500 from the version 5.0, so older version all the way to the latest. Philip, thanks for your question. Uh, another question here, uh, question from uh, uh, Laura. What is the price of data self-analytics? Uh, Laura, thanks for your question. Uh, so pricing, as I mentioned, can vary significantly b based on your, uh, on your uh, needs. Um, we have three pricing models. You can subscribe on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis, or you can buy the solution. And if you go with the monthly subscription, which is the least of the more affordable one, you can literally start uh, the solution paying hundreds of dollars per month. So it's really affordable. Um, uh, also, you'll be requiring some services to, to deploy the solution. So if you go with the monthly fee, most likely, most likely you're going to be spending a few thousand dollars between the licenses and the services to get installed, tested, and trained. So it's you know really affordable for the kind of you know uh, functionality you get. Uh, and by the way, pricing is influenced by number of users, uh, how many data sources you have. Maybe you have Sage 500, and you have Sales Logic, and things of, things of that nature. So all of those components influence pricing. And if you want to know more details, I'll be glad to talk on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, Laura, thanks for your question. Let's see more questions here. Uh, so one question here is, can users create new measures? The question is from John. John, thanks for your question. So absolutely, um, there is uh, a desktop client, which is the, uh, the author tool. And the users who are desktop client, that use the desktop client, which are considered the authors, they can create new measures. They can create new measures and then publish them to the server. And then people will be able to use those measures for new reports and, and dashboards. John, thanks for your question. Well, we are running out of time now. Uh, we'll be addressing other questions on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I want to thank you for your time and interest. Uh, you can find here my cell phone information, my email, my Twitter. Please follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, interact with us. Call us if you have any questions about our solution or about analytics and data warehousing overall. We'll be here to assist you. I hope you have a great uh, day, a great Thursday, and looking forward to interact with you in the near future. Thank you. Have a great day.